Hello there, beautiful people. Or welcome back again to On Hot Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't you lose now it's very different chapter on this channel i usually share small customizations but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make shopify store very unique professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring these expensive developers or even worse paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects but i give you a better deal scroll down to the channel check out the videos and sections i'm sharing now let you decide now respect your decision but for now let me show you how to add a video slider section on your shopify store by using your own custom code again and this is an update video because I already made this video, but it's a carousel and it looks very, very professional and have many, many more options. But lately, I got a request like, can you do a, a simple one? That's the exact I'm about to show you in this video. And it looks very good and professional. It has many options too. So even if you don't need them, they are there for you in case you need them. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Each video adds smart customizations. By the video like 70 or 60, as you can see, the team will be completely different. But now I think I'll reach that level halfway. For example, check out these scrolling logos with the faded corners and it pauses and you can add the link to the each logo. Or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So this, as you can see, this, I have four or five actually products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet. And this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and by using your own custom code. And this is highly customizable as well and many many more things i can mention in this video so as i said down team is fully customizable we will do demonstration in this video on another team because i already have this one which is scrolling videos carousel that will only play the video that's in the middle however in the the one i will show you in this video is actually will actually play all the videos at once and it has many options as well and let me quit talking and show you that. So let me close this one actually, and we will do demonstration on the new team, which is Horizon. And by the way, this code will work on every Shopify team, even the paid ones, even the custom made ones, it will work just fine because it's custom section. So simply, I'm going to do demonstration as I said on Horizon. So click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. But in my case, I'm doing it here. So I'm gonna do it here instead. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel right here, you'll see this folder called sections. Simply click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first one, which is add a new section. Then it will show you this prompt in the middle of the page in here. So you can name the section and simply name it video dash slider. And you can name it actually anything you want. It just makes sure name it something, something unique so it doesn't have conflict with the other files. So I'll click on done and it will create some code here by default. Make sure to clean in here, uh, remove the whole code. Do not keep even like closing bracket will cause some issues. And then in here we need to paste in the code for the section. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours. I'm just joking, scroll that description box. And you will see a code, I see website actually, my website completely free again. This code is completely free. You don't have to pay for it or anything like that. I would just appreciate if you hit that like button, leave me a comment because many people copy the code, make their own videos, but I spend time building this stuff. So I would really appreciate if you leave me a comment, hit that like button, and I do reply to each comment as well. So download a zip file from my website, open that zip file with any text editor on your computer. Actually first unzip the zip file and inside it you will find a dot liquid file. Then open that dot liquid file with any text editor on your computer. Then copy the whole code inside it. Then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? Then after that click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds. Now we save it. We will get back to the team editor. Then we will add it. So after that, click on customize button for the team that you did add the section. Then we will add it on the page. So let me add it actually in here. So click on add section and search for slider. Uh, it will not show up. Sometimes it takes time to show up. Some, this is a good example actually to make sure that it's actually working. Even if this happened to you, simply reload the page. Then now let, let's just do it again and see. And here is I see it, as you can see, this one on how video slider simply click on it and it will show up the videos by default it shows these videos 
and this is the default hard-coded one you can actually change the videos obviously so first let me actually show you the section so the section settings on the right of the page it will show a video showcase which is the title for the section as you can see and you can actually resize this if you want to make it larger or smaller I'm gonna make it around 30 it's fine and this one is description slider description text here just for demonstration so you can see and here is it that show up if you want to add uh, a description and below you can resize the description of course the option and this one is the text color you can change the text color and the description text color and this one if you want to make the 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 section full width if i enable this it will take the full width on the section as you can see i'm going to disable it and this one is the how many videos visible on the desktop you can actually add new videos make it like five or six but in my case i'm going to keep it just four because it is perfect and also it's autoplay if you disable this it will not autoplay the slider so i'm going to enable this one so it will be autoplay and this one is autoplay speed which means how many seconds until the next slider will move will show up uh, by default is six seconds i will do five five seconds five thousand milliseconds is five seconds and this one is show navigation if you want to disable this so it does not show the navigation in my case i'm going to keep it and this one is the arrow background color and the arrow icon color so you can actually uh, adjust this one however you want and as you can see it's interactive as well and the next option is the background color so you can change the background for the whole section and this one is the border radius for the videos because you can actually make it less rounded corners or pointy as you can see pointy corners or you can actually make it very rounded just like you see so this is to make the section looks very unique not like everyone else obviously so let me actually adjust it at six it looks perfect and this one is the video aspect same as the original or portrait or square and this is based on the video uh, ratio or the resolution of the video you are using so in my case i'm going to keep it as original and this one is the top spacing and the bottom spacing so you can adjust the, the space between section but by default looks perfect now now how to add the videos very simple on the left panel right here you will see these four blocks as you can see this is videos if you want to add more simply click on the plus button and add a video as you can see and this one if i click on it it will show me one setting on, on the right of the page where you can pick a video if i click select it will show you all the videos on your shopify store and from here you can pick the videos that you want in this case i did add the video uh, to be selected from shopify page uh, from shopify file sorry if you want to add the video by using your own link just drop me a comment below i will be happy to add that option for you but for now that ha that's how you add a functional uh, video slider on your Shopify store and it looks very good and has many options so you can customize it. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.